Department of Transportation wants cars to talk to each other, and they want it to happen soon. DOT Secretary Anthony Fox wants to fast track regulation that would make vehicle to vehicle communication mandatory in future cars. The idea is cars that communicate with each other are safer because they can detect the location of other vehicles even when the driver can't see them. The Verge took a ride in one last year. If you're traveling at speed, you can get a warning that you need to slow down. You're not going to be surprised when the car in front of you swerves out of the way. Fox said the aim is to make vehicle to vehicle communication a standard in all cars. But it seems the high-tech safety regulation would be best suited for self-driving cars. Auto driving. A typical car could only send a warning to drivers, but a self-driving car would be able to react on its own without relying on the driver's reflexes. Fox wants a proposal sent to the Office of Management and Budget by the end of the year, but the autonomous car industry is already moving faster than that which Fox seems to be aware of. We have to uh, really take what the innovators are doing and to set the safety bar for it. And if, the, if it meets the bar, then it should find its way into the marketplace. Every car coming off the line in Tesla at the factory has the autopilot hardware. Tesla has plans to roll out an autopilot feature for highway driving this summer. And auto parts maker Delphi recently made a 3,400 mile cross country trip in a self-driving car. In the six years Google has been testing its self-driving cars, the company says its cars have been involved in 11 accidents. Google says its self-driving car wasn't the cause of any of those accidents, which resulted in no injuries and only minor damage. It's still too early to tell when vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle communication will be standard, and even after it's implemented, it will take years before most cars on the road have the feature. For Newsy, I'm Christian Bryant.